say a couple of months into my business, I've repeatedly observed that most of my customers were complaining about the quality of the coffee. Now, what do I do? So I hire somebody who's a, who's a, who's a specialist in coffee procurement, say Bob, and I'm going to create a purchasing group which would include Bob and anybody else working for him and call it a purchasing group for coffee. So anytime I want to procure coffee, I'm going to use that purchasing group. You could call it any name, US1, COF, anything you want. It will have a number and an email and that's what the vendors are going to use anytime they have a question. So if, if they want to communicate to us about the order that we have placed, this is the number that they're going to reach out to. Think of it like the vendor's contact at our location. And how do you create a purchasing group? Although you enter it in the org data of the purchase order, it's not really an enterprise structure element. So go to material management purchasing in SPRO and you can create a purchasing group there. Let's go create one. So go back. Go to SPRO, IMG, Materials Management, Purchasing, and Create Purchasing Groups. Go to New Entries, type in US1 and say US Coffee US coffee purchasing group and then you can give them a number 312000 and then a fax number telephone whatnot save it it doesn't matter you don't have to really create a new transport every time because you'll be creating so many of them just include it in the previous transport so going forward anytime you create a purchase order for coffee start using this purchase group us01 all right this one is this exercise is really small so create a new purchase group for all raw materials related to baked goods call it us2 us2 for baked goods now it's not necessary that you have to create these purchasing groups based on the type of material the same bob could be responsible for purchasing coffee baked goods or any other raw materials or he could specialize so that depends on the nature of the business. So Starbucks could have, you know, a hundred different procurement specialists. Walmart could have a thousand. But depending on the nature of the business, you go ahead and create your purchasing groups. So second question, is the purchasing group an enterprise structure element? No, it's not. Why? Because you don't really create it under enterprise structure in SPRO. It's created down under material management purchasing 